Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I am very excited right now and the reason is NINA, Nighttime Imaging and Astronomy to be more specific. Um, I just switched over to this probably this image, this is image capturing software and it's a sequencing uh, image capturing software and I started using it about a week ago so I went through all the normal pains of adjusting to a new uh, image capturing software. But let me tell you how excited I am about Nina. Uh, but two reasons. It's free. And the second reason is it automates your imaging session. Uh, let me tell you, you know, what I've been through since I've been using this. Um, the main, the main, well, let me start off with my purpose for using this. The main reason I wanted to use this is because, you know, I wanted to, I want to get more sleep when, um, I'm doing my imaging, uh, process. And this allows me to do that. I ran a couple of tests. I've been doing most of my setup and testing in during the day. Um, and um, I got everything set up. I got my camera set up. This is, by the way, this is the equipment um, section. So you click equipment and you connect your camera. It's not connected to my scope or my camera now, so I can't show you exactly. Uh, that'll be in later videos where I, you know, give you breakdowns of, you know, scenarios and situations where the equipment's all connected. But just generally speaking, this camera icon here is where you click to set this uh, you know to open up your camera and by the way make sure that before you use Nina that you install all the uh, ASCOM and native drivers associated with your operating system and your equipment very very important that you do that first again uh, install all your ASCOM uh, and native drivers for your equipment before you start using Nina because if you don't it's not gonna work you know but uh, anyway so if you've got a filter wheel and you've got you know you know all the associated filter wheel and you know all your filters in place this is where you set that up I don't know there's a whole lot I don't know about Nina still but I'll tell you what I do know telescope you know this is where you connect your uh, your mount you know I use an AVX so uh, a Celestron AVX so this is where I connected uh, this is where you connect that this is where you connect your auto guiding right here um, I'll go through so the more I learn about it the more I'll share with you but right now you know this is where you set up your equipment is where you set up all your equipment and then if you want to i'm not sure what switch means but weather is like a weather station you can you can um um you know you can uh, set up um weather uh data in here so i have not done that yet but right over here where it says atlas that's where you select your you set up your tar you this is where you can set up your the different kind of targets that you can slew to or you can just type it right into here um, this is where you capture your images right in here this is where you you know you can loop to you know set your framing you can turn on uh, I guess it doesn't turn on until it's active but your your diuretical so you can you know um, line up your object in the, in the center field, center of the field of view um, sequence is where you start your sequence so you know this is where you can you know click start guiding this is it'll do all this automatically for you center your target it's all off for me right now the sequence mode one after the other there's a lot that you know I don't know right now but basically you you your target needs its right ascension declination um data in here um let's see options is where you can set your color schema um like i like this persian i think it's got a really cool feel to it but you know if you want to go do the nighttime thing you do dark and it looks like that but you can just mess around with that uh, 
uh, so I like sticking with Persian because it's easy for me to see and it works pretty good at night. Down here is your uh, down here is where you set your latitude and longitude. Okay, and then if you go if you look up here, you got general equipment, imaging, plate solving, planetarium. If you want to set up a planetarium software, plate solving right here. I got this all set up. Um, so I'm using ASTAP, so you, you know, you have to download the catalog and then you include the uh, location of where it is. So when you're doing plate solving, it, it knows where, what, where your executable file is for ASTAP. So I set all this up to do, uh, the settings here, uh, for uh, I'll like I said more the more I learn about why the settings are the way they are I kind of went off you know the I went to the Nina website and read through that and that's you know based on that information I that's why that's you know why these settings are the way they are but I'm very excited about this because <laughs> for about three or four days I couldn't get it to work and so finally I got onto my Facebook forum and um, and I put out a plea for help about why I couldn't get it to work. And my my inquiry was this. I wrote, is that and I was having a hard time getting my mount to work. So this is what I wrote. I wrote, is there anyone using Nina for your image capturing? I wrote, I'm in the process of setting it up and testing. I'm using a Celestron AVX as my mount. I got to the point of setting up my equipment and and sequence after I started the one sequence I received an error that Nina could not slew my AVX due to it not being in alignment I wasn't sure what this error message meant my coordinates were correct in, in options if anyone can shed some light on this problem I would be very grateful so I had a gentleman respond to me I won't say his name to protect his privacy, but he writes back, did you, yeah, let me try and get the full dialogue here. Did you do a star alignment prior to starting Nina? If not, Nina may have detected from the hand controller that an alignment was, wasn't performed and, sorry guys, I should have my reading glasses on and it doesn't know where your OTA is pointed. It's done that a couple of times to me with my CGX mount and I wrote back this. This is what this was my experience literally last night. Someone suggested the same thing. So this is me writing back to this gentleman who was very helpful to me. Someone suggested the same thing. So I did this last night and it worked great. The scope was also parked when the sequence was done. I was also pretty close to Zenith when I started. I got all my subs, so it must have completed a Meridian flip as well. I set this up in Nina, but to see it all come together was awesome. Can't thank you enough for your suggestion. So that was last night. And it actually did collect all the subs, and I was super happy because this is the beginning of... Um, you know, getting the sequence started and then waking up to a parked, a parked uh, scope with all the data collected. Doesn't mean I'll collect all the subs will be quality. I mean, it may, clouds may have ran through or whatever during the process, but the fact that it all takes care of itself is pretty awesome. You know, so uh, I'm very much becoming a Nina fan. So again, this is Nina, which is night time imaging in astronomy and this is version 1.9 and i'm happy to share all this great information with you um, i highly recommend you going out and trying it it does it there is a learning curve it does take time to learn and i'm also learning that the folks at nina the developers the software developers behind nina are very 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 helpful um real quick if you I'll try to go to the website here. So if I type uh, in, let's see. If you just Google it, you know, 
uh, Nina. And, you know, you, well, let's just type in nighttime and astronomy. Let's see what it's called again. Let me see. Just trying to remember the exact language. Nighttime imaging in astronomy. Night. Nighttime imaging. Just okay. Sorry, it's early. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, nighttime imaging in astronomy. Uh, let's click on that and here it is so this is the website for it this is where you can do the download for it and this is where you can go get all the help for it you know it's got it's just an awesome website it really is so I suggest really diving into this um, and if, if you're interested in autumn you know making your sequence you know automated I would uh, highly recommend Nina. It's analogous to Sequence Generator Pro, um, but this is free, so I like free, <laughs> especially when you think about all the costs associated with the hardware. You know, it's refreshing. You know, there's a lot of free, great resources out there for um, astrophotography guys, you know, uh, and so uh, anyone who's interested in astrophotography you know there's just so many great resources out there but anyway I'm glad I got to bring this to you today I'm hoping this video took all the way uh, because I feel like it's one of those uh, spontaneous things I wanted to share with you I hope everyone has a great day I hope everyone's staying safe I hope you um, have clear dark skies all the time and if you're enjoying the content please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care and hope everyone has a great day. Clear dark skies everyone.